everybody this is mandar with us so today we're going to see how we're going to work with php so in php in my local host i have created few files and i'm going to take information from each type of input and i'm going to pass it through all these files and i'm going to pin print it in summary.php so in my 1.php i have a text file in my 2.php i'll have a drop down and radio button checkbox all this kind of stuff so let me go to 1.php so this is my file and this is my text box so so i can enter enter my name manda and then i can submit when you say submit it gets printed on your page saying welcome manda and when you say the next it goes to the next page so let me show you the code for this corresponding page so this is my 1.php as you can see in my 1.php i have the title first page and in my body i have my form and the form is the method post it has two input types one is the text box and the second one is the input in my text box i have given the value to be manda so by default when i load the page i get the value manda over here and i have given the class as name one and i have styled it so that it aligns itself to the center of the page and no other styling has been done and other than that i have done the php section as soon as i completed the form so this is my php section and in every page i use this session start a session is something which allow you, allows you to carry information so i have started my session and once i started my session i said if e set dollar underscore post is name that means on clicking submit if i am getting the value name through post then i'm going to enter the section so that is true in this case so in this section what i'm going to do is i am going to assign dollar underscore post name this name is going to give whatever name is in this text box so this name is going to get assigned to the session name so you need to know the importance why we are assigning this to the session name so in the last summary i printed a table where i'll have the name and the name corresponds to dollar underscore session name so session is something which allows you to carry information from one page to another so that is why whatever in this is in this name i am assigning that to session name and now on submitting i say welcome dollar underscore posting that is the name what the user has entered and once i click on the next page 2.php is loaded so the next page gives me 2.php in this 2.php i can select whatever color i want and when i say get selected values it shows me an output called you have selected pink and how does that happen i have the same thing but i have designed a drop down box there is something called select and these are the options in the drop down in the drop down i have red green blue pink yellow different kinds of colors and there's a button and again in the php below the form i say session starts and if is set dollar underscore post if you click on submit and if there's a method post and you're getting some color attribute which has the name then you're going to enter this loop and inside this whatever is the color so this takes the value of the option so if the value if you take red the value red is selected and when you say dollar underscore post color value red is stored into dollar underscore post color so red is stored into dollar session color so when you go to summary and for color then you select this session and the next thing would be when i select this and i say the next page uh, i am going to enter your gender so in enter your gender you have radio buttons in radio buttons thing to be noted would be all the thing all the names will have the same name so name for the first female option is going to have radio name and the named attribute for other section would be radio the name for the male section is also going to be radio so this is how i create my form and then again as you can see the style for everything goes the same so that is why i'm not explaining the style thing as we've already discussed how styling happens in the previous sessions and here i have something called as session start again because i'm starting the session again and these have to be stored and we shouldn't use session destroy anywhere unless and until we are done printing all the information we need so that is why i printed it in summary at the end 
So coming back, don't bother with the summary page if you don't understand. We'll come back to it later. And coming to this part, I say if it is radio, the name you're getting, then whatever is in the post radio, that is the value will be returned here. That is getting into session radio. And if I click submit, I want the radio button to be displayed on the particular page. I want to get uh, which gender I am on this page. So for that, I say if submit is clicked, if the value is if the name submit is returned, then you have to print it on the screen. So that is why I used echo. Otherwise, to so store it, I use a session. And to go to the next page, I again say 4.php. So I'm female. So I say get selected and you're a female. You have selected female. So now I go to my next page, which is going to be to select a language. That is 4.php. So in this 4.php, I can use many programming languages as I know. If I know C++, Java, PHP, all this stuff. So as for now, as we're discussing about PHP, I'll check PHP. And here I have multiple checkboxes with different, with the same name. They shouldn't be different, note that. But the value is going to be different based on their name. And here I'm saying session start, make sure you do this. And after that, if one of the checkboxes checked that is when you click on the button you have two options in radio button case and the checkbox case that is when you click submit what is going to happen and when you click on the checkbox where is going to happen when you click on the checkbox that particular value on clicking submit is getting stored in the session and when you click submit if the checkbox is not empty here i run a for loop why do i run a for loop that is because i can at the same time select numerous things for now if i submit c++ and php as you can see c++ and php both of them are displayed over here so for that i run a for loop which is going to say for each for each of you i'm going to give a mango so that means for each and every person i'm going to give a mango so i'm saying for each dollar underscore post checklist that is whatever is selected for each of them as dollar selected i name them as dollar selected and i echo them so checklist is going to give me the first thing now c plus plus and that is given the name selected okay c plus plus c slash c plus plus is now given the name selected and when i say echo selected c plus plus is displayed in the second loop i get php and php is given a name selected and php is display uh, php is displayed so that is how this is happening so now that is how you display some language so now i check php and i say submit so it gives me php and now i say save i go to the next page when you go to the next page it is phi.php in 5.php styling goes the same way and here i have only two text boxes which is name and the email id in the name i have name one email i have email and i have a submit button here i say session start and this is a little complicated here whatever i get i need the name and the email if you get name here I, as you can see till now we received only one attribute right and here we're receiving two attributes when you click on the submit button so I say if e set dollar underscore post if I get the name and the email as you can see there's an end operator and an email on clicking submit then you're going to assign name to session of name and email to session of email email to session of email and after that if you say you click on the submit button and your post of name is going to be your name and your post of email is going to be your email and if this name is rp and the email is this particular thing this is called as your header i'll show that to you in a moment so this is called as a header so this header should be equal to this according to me okay this is going to see go to summary.php as you can see over here and i say if it is not so you print that please fill all the details so I say some random stuff other than RP and Manda at the rate of coordinate at radio and you say submit and you can see this please fill all the details. So now I'm going to print, I'm going to type RP and Manda at the rate of coordinate at radio and I'm submitting it. As you can see, this is my final page summary page and I've carried my name from the first page, Manda from the last page, Pink from the second page, Female from the third page and my favorite programming language from the next page. So this is how we actually get them all. And one more thing to be noted is in my summary.php, I've just made a table. 
and I just made a table data and in second table data I used the PHP and I just echoed this dollar underscore section and whatever name I have given and I've stored in the previous way. And here the interesting fact would be as you can see the data is displayed right and now okay I'm refreshing the page you can see the magic what happened everything there's an error that is because at the end of this all the session items have been carried out from the first page to the second page to the third page to the fourth page to the fifth page and finally to the summary page and the session has been maintained yet it was not destroyed but coming to the last page i have used the word called session underscore destroy which destroys the session so it can no more be maintained if you reload this page if i don't use the session underscore destroy if you reload the page numerous number of times also you'll not have any problem so this is how the page works. Let us look at a quick demo of this page. So I go to localhost, I'm going to my folder, I'm going to open one.php. This is my name, as you can see, welcome Manda. I go to the next page, I'm going to say yellow this time. I say get selected, so I say you have, you have selected yellow. And then I say I'm female, and you, it says you are you've selected female and then I go to the next page I say Java this time I say submit and it shows me Java I say save and here it is mandatory that I enter rp and manda at the rate of gardener.edu so when I submit I get the form again so this is how it goes and once you refresh you get this error so don't worry when you get this error it might be because of the session destroy if you don't want to get that you can delete it so thanks for watching